एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज रवि कुमार आई एम ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ एन आई टी सिल्चर माई ब्रांच इज स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल अबाउट द एडमिशन प्रोसेस एंड लिटिल विट द पोस्ट प्लेसमेंट टॉक सो माई फ्रेंड सुतीर्थो इज रिसेंटली प्लेस इन टाटा कंसिडेंसी इंजीनियर्स सो सुतीर्थो विल टेल अबाउट द प्रोसेस एंड एलिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एंड इफ यू आर टेक थिंकिंग अबाउट द टेक द एडमिशन इन एनी एन आई टीज through gate ya without gate so this video is very useful to you before taking the admission so i will suggest you please uh, watch this video before taking the any admissions in nits so hello sitirdo hello ravi hello so introduce yourself so my name is sutirdo saha i am a student of second year structural engineering specialization i am from west bengal and uh, now i am going to join tc uh, after i completed my recruitment drive in august okay uh, hello sudhir to uh, you are from bengal so nit silchar is assam very uh, i think uh, bengal is bengal is your house is very far away from nit silchar so in a yeah से इन बेंगल देर इज एन आई टी दुर्गा फीज इज ऑल्सो सो यू चूज एन आई टी सिल्चर देर इज एनी रीजन ट्रूली स्पीकिंग बोथ कॉलेजेस आर वेरी गुड कॉलेजेस एन आई टी दुर्गापुर इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी गुड कॉलेज एंड एन आई टी सिल्चर इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द गुड एन आई टीज इन इंडिया सो इन दर वेन आई वॉज एप्लाइंग फॉर कॉलेजेस इन द स्टार्ट ऑफ अगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू then i got nit silchar and i learned from other people who have passed from here that this is a very good college which will give you a very good education so that is why i selected nit silchar to complete my masters yes oh recently i will also uh, before uh, going to the any college please check the nif ranking i think uh, nit nif ranking of nit silchar is according to in if you are choosing only nits there the rank is 8 and if you are looking for the all nits uh, and iit is also the their nif ranking is 40 so this college is i think if you have go um, low get a score yeah without get this will be good for you okay hello sutirtho you are the also training and placement coordinator so uh, you know the all the um, placement regarding the rules and regulations so there is a lot of company you know the rules so tell about the little bit of the rules of most of the companies so lots of civil engineering companies like lnt tata sistra these come here in our college to conduct the recruitment drive and they also hire in good numbers but they have some eligibility criteria which include they will put a bar on the 10th and 12th percentage mostly it's kept at 60% then sometimes there is also a age limit that a particular candidate up to a particular age can only apply for that job also there are some eligibility criteria like no backlogs and other criteria but this varies from company to company but the one that i told before these are more or less same for every civil engineering companies yes this this rules and regulations for the every iit is also and in top in iit is also so now uh, we will talk about the you know tata constituency engineers okay you got placed in tata constituency engineers so what are the eligibility criteria of tata constituency engineers so the eligibility criteria of tata consultancy engineering are the same as i just mentioned before and this include your 10th and 12th marks then the percentage you or cgpa you got in your btech other than that there was a age limitation and also there was a backlog criteria mentioned so if you fulfill all these criteria then can you you also can apply for the company but it will depend on one criteria the company is placing in its recruitment drive okay so this so in a placement there are how many stages of like a retain interview 
So mainly the companies conduct their recruitment in three stages. Uh, the first stage is a written exam. So it is um, generally a mixture of the technical questions plus the aptitude questions. And the con candidates who qualify this exam, they are shortlisted for the personal interview where the very highly educated people from the company will take a technical interview. And after qualifying that interview, you will get a chance to sit in the HR round. We, this might be with an HR or it might also be with uh, uploading your video or some kind of writing. And this varies for company to company. So if you can qualify these all three exams and complete all of them successfully, then you will be given a job in the company. Okay. Uh, so you mentioned like a uh, interview. So in an interview, which types of questions they are asking? If you, my viewers, uh, my uh, juniors are if watching this video before the interview. So interviewer, what types of portions he asked? So the questions, let's say you are a student of a particular specialization. Let's say you are from geotechnical or you are from structural. So so what will happen is that you will be asked questions mainly from your own domain. Like if you are a transportation engineering student, then the question will be related to the subjects of transportation engineering. Also, the main thing that is to be kept in mind is that what kind of job role are the company hiring for? If they are hiring for a particular project, then the questions might be related based on that project or that kind of civil engineering structures. So it will depend, it will vary from company to company, but more or less they will ask questions from your own domain and not from any other domain. Okay. Uh, okay, after this uh, interview, there is the one session is also video recording uploading. Yes. So what types of video recording? And in the video recording, there is any term? So this video recording session that uh, they ask us to do, it includes a personal introduction yes. part and with it a question might be attached and it can be any kind of question but it will be civil engineering related. Yes. So this third uh, round is mainly based on your working skill and your personal communication skills and they judge it in the final round and if you can give a video to their satisfaction as per the company guidelines then you will be recruited by the company. So there is also one thing and some uh, companies are recruiting for the software skills students. So in an interview, uh, interviewer asks to you any questions related to software? So the companies, if it is a design company, yes. they might ask you about few programming languages that are used in civil engineering. Other than that, they will focus more on the softwares, the IS codes, and other scholar, uh, let's say, kind of papers published and yes. journals, all these things, they might ask about that. But the part about the coding is very limited to the coding that is used in the civil engineering domain. And outside of that, coding is not asked that much. Okay. So this is the all about this. So you, if you want more regarding this, so you can mail me, yeah, you can also uh, comment in this video, I will happy to help you. So this this is the all things regarding the placement scenario. So in, in NIT Silchar, there is a, there is a five branches, uh, a structural, a structural dynamics, geotech, transportation and water resources. So the, which branch give the first preference? You can suggest anything to viewers. Uh, uh, according to placement ratio, because you are the tra uh, training and placement coordinators, so some of companies are uh, for the restricted, the this, this branch are not allowed, this branch is allowed, like this. So before admission, so which branch give the first preference in a CCMT? So mainly the company, particular company works in particular domains and they will work only in that domain. Mm -hmm. So all five branches have employment opportunity yes. as right now lot of infrastructure is being made in our country so you will get chance 
in any branches as long as you are eligible and can perform up to the company standard in the exam. Mm -hmm. But my preference would be to select such a line that you are comfortable in studying, that the subjects that are in that specialization, you like those subjects and only you should choose that line. Otherwise, don't go only for the job otherwise it might happen that after a few years you will face difficulties because you are not that used to the subject so always go for those specializations which subject you are comfortable with and you will get equal employment opportunities in all specializations yes okay uh, so so on this is the all about and you want to say something to viewers on on the my youtube channel First of all, like, share and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, this is a very good channel. And if you want to know more about NIT Silchar, you can watch videos on Ravi's channel. And there are a lot of videos about our institution. It is a good institution to study. There are very senior faculties here who have many years, many decades of experience. And if you get a chance to work under them, or even the newer faculties who are also IIT and IIC pass out, you will get a good chance to enhance your technical as well as research skills and get placed in a good company. Yes. Thank you, Sudhir, so for giving the most valuable time. So thank you, thank you to everyone for being a my YouTube subscribers. So thank you. <laughs>